November 9th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. This is the snowfall aftermath. I just looked at the radar. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is show you guys the radar real quickly, real quickly so you guys can see. We're driving my car, the brand new 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT, the nicest Outback they make with our brand new snow tires on it. So we're trying the snow tires out for the first time and we still don't have power, you guys. So hopefully I can upload this when we get back. Can you guys believe it? Yeah, can you believe it? All night. All night long, all night, all night long, all night. All right, so I'm trying to find here the radar for y'all. Baby, where's the radar? Oh, oh, this guy's letting us go because it's, a, it's a, a red light. All right, here. Look, I'm, I'm turning and like, it's not even moving, babe. Oh my God. I guess that's what you get for $900 snow tires. And also you get a heartache from that. So look, look guys, this is the radar real quickly on my main phone. Baby, can you zoom in on that a little bit? Just just uh, where you can see the, uh, the uh, blue, a little more, just a touch more. Thanks, baby cakes. Okay guys, so this is it. That is it right there. I don't know if you can see, let me make it brighter. I don't, we gotta slow down here. I don't know if you can see, but we're that little blue dot right there. And that other little bit of snow is just to the north. And that's literally like five minutes of snow, but we're not getting it. And there's nothing else to the west. We're done. So that's why we're doing the aftermath video, folks. It is 739 at 32 degrees. My wife just did a bunch of, of, of shoveling for me because I am not a man. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, this woman's amazing. I'm the husband. And I am not even the wife <laughs> I'm I'm the mistress <laughs> and I had to shovel it <laughs> shovel it just a little bit so we're gonna do the whole valley tour guys so so we can get a perspective to show you guys what I've coined as the big bear snow rule which all that means for those new new viewers is uh um, basically, on one side of town, we're always going to get more snow than the other and a significant amount difference. So I, ca I call it the Big Bear Snow Rule. Um, I've never seen it any different the whole time that I've lived here. And I'm really excited about this, this tour, especially with our new snow tires, guys. This is, it feels like we're like digging into the ground with these snow tires. It's insanity. Yeah, please don't. I, I smell it. It was like this much. I'm okay. sorry. Trees down, the whole thing. Look at all four of those trees at El, El Pollo Joco. Which is not open. Which is not open. Well, it's not open right now because it's 7.30 in the morning. Oh, oh yeah. But a bunch of trees were down there. Um, we're going to... You know what, we're gonna take a little detour. It's gonna be a long, long video, you guys, but the longer the better because we're not gonna be able to upload it until we get actual power back. We gotta get the power back. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. All right, so we're gonna turn left here on Jeffries, which is where we saw a huge tree in the power lines down. Tell me if I'm wrong about this, but is our town just so dumb and the people that run our town that we can't put the power lines under the ground? I know it gets cold, but like, can't they put like a protective coating or like, like don't, don't they put them in like tubes and stuff like that? I don't understand why every year we have to have like 10 or 15 power outages every year. It's just, it's where we were last night this town is run into the ground. Okay, so look, look at these power lines straight ahead. I'm not gonna be able to go through, but I'm gonna zoom in. Look at that on the ground. And there was a huge tree that they obviously cut out of there. But you know what? We're just gonna use my, use my driving skills here. Yeah, I'm gonna get us electrocuted here. Okay, let me zoom back out here. Wow. Wow, they did chop it up. Holy moly. But they haven't done anything. That's probably our power. That's a, a uh, that, oh, you're right. That is oak. 
All right, guys, so we're probably gonna just turn right here on Croak. Well, I've never been down this. This is on Oak and Jeffries. Oak and Jeffries, look at that, guys. Look at that. Dangerous, that is so dangerous. That's the driveway, babe, that's why. Oh, dang. dang, dang, dang. Can't see, oh wait, so here's my rear view camera. You guys wanna see something freaking awesome? Besides my, oh look, the X mode. It's saying because there's snow, I should put it, the X mode on. I can just push a button right there for X mode. But look at this. If I want to see in front of the car, I just push that button right there. Oh my gosh. Right here, the view button. And then we get a, a front camera view, which oh, is pretty, pretty darn cool. It shuts off after, look, it, <laughs> it, it, it looks like we're going so fast, but we're only going five miles an hour. Look at that, babe. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, this is such a freaking, this was a crazy, crazy storm. As I said, in the eight years living here, I've never experienced winds like that. I guarantee you we had some gusts that were hur uh, hurricane force. So I believe that's 72 miles an hour for the gusts. I'm not kidding. Uh, we didn't check out. You know what? If my wife reminds me because my memory sucks from all the years of abusing my brain, um, if she can, can remind me when we get back near, near the house, there's, uh, um, across or at the unified school district building, there was a humongous tree down too, huh babe? Yeah. I mean, horrible. <laughs> so I thought. I thought this was a crack in the windshield because of this thing right here. And then I thought this was a crack in the windshield up here. It freaked me out, but it's just thick sap because of everything falling down on the car. There's a huge branch like underneath my car, which leads me to believe that that was one of the loud sounds that I heard last night of a branch hitting the car and then just falling right, right next to it and ending up underneath it. But we didn't do any driving in my car last night because you guys know how obsessive compulsive I am about keeping my brand new car 100% clean. So we took the rental car that I got for my wife all night long last night. And surprisingly, it didn't do too bad, but I am a little bit worried about, uh, thank goodness our town does great at snow shovel or uh, snow plowing because my, my wife, she has to go to work today. Um, actually, I shouldn't say she has to because she's got the best attitude, you guys. Like, just like me, she gets up and is like, oh my gosh, I get to go to work. And, and I, it's, it's, that's where you want to be in life. You guys, that's how I feel. Also, you don't have to make the most money in the world. All you have to do is just do what makes you happy. And that's how I was during COVID. I got, I got to work during COVID, which a lot of people didn't. And I felt really bad for them because how horrible is it to stay at home broke all day? It's horrible. Horrible. Like horrible. Horrible. Like really. <laughs> like really, really. Beyond horrible. <laughs> it's horrible, man. It's horrible. So now, we're, now, if I had money, of course, I would stay home all day. But. Yes, and un, <laughs> and unfortunately, we don't have much money, which is which is why all the donations are freaking amazing. Yeah, we both work our butts off, and we do pretty well. But I mean, when when you you know have a new car, and then your old car you totaled, and you need to still pay those payments, and you and your insurance. They, my insurance company said my insurance will at least go up by eighty to a hundred percent. It's the first accident I've ever been in in my entire That's life. Crazy. So I'm, and I think I was overpaying anyway, but I don't question these things. I just pay it. If they say that's the price, I pay it. All right, so we're gonna go through the village, the village. And then as I said, guys, we're doing a whole Bear Valley tour. This is exciting. And then I'm gonna take my wife to get some breakfast. It's gonna be breaking slow though, but we're gonna break fast when we can. Maybe that's what breakfast was like named for. So like you can break really fast or like just, I don't know. It has to do something with fasting overnight and then you took a break and then. Hey, fast. wow. I know that's not the full story and that was very just. But she's sticking up, to it. That, that is what that is. If you look it up, <coughs> basically that's summing it up. So you guys are gonna still see a couple snow flurries while we're on this drive, but I assure you, it, this is it. This is, this is it. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. She's brave. Yes, definitely. She's got cuts in her jeans and everything. <laughs> and he's got a goatee. <laughs> Did you really hyphen your last name? You took your wife's last name? Yeah, everybody's doing it. 
No, everybody's not doing it. Look at this guy. Hey, sir, do guys do that? He's like, no. He's like, and he's got a goatee. <laughs> you guys know what movie that from, right? I can't even speak English. That's from Hot Tub Time Machine. Yeah, and can you guys believe Nick took my last name? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I'm a Garcia now, folks. <laughs> Garcias. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, what are you doing there? He's parking right there. Hey, what are you doing there? Looks like he got stuck on his way out. So, guys, this is one of our places that we haven't stayed yet. It's 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 one of the nicer places in town. It's called the Club, and someone ran the fence in. Idiots. Mm. Unfortunately, it's a private nice little neighborhood i have stayed here this is every place i've stayed i've recorded but i always stay at the biggest accommodations that they offer at every hotel here um i forget what what the, that one's called the something at big bear i know that doesn't help you guys but it's called the something at big bear here's tropicali shout out to tropicali apparently that place has a ton of followers man a ton of followers but i've never eaten that well someone treated me there my friend paul who used to work with me he he treated me there and I'm I'm just uh, I'm not a fan of like healthy good good for you stuff. Unfortunately, I like all the like double double with extra double double on that double double with with grilled double double. <laughs> like seriously, I like me the double double. Every time we go down the mountain, where do I go eat, babe? At the double double. At the double double. <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> In and out. enough said, my friend. <laughs> this is where do we go? I'm happy to go there. Oh. This is going to be exciting. We haven't slipped once, knock on wood. We're not driving like like bastards though. So, at least uh yeah. And as I said, don't worry. Even though this we're we're seeing a little bit of snowflakes coming down, don't worry. This is the aftermath video for sure. This is this is just the last bit of the clouds just uh getting rid of a little bit of moisture. And as you guys saw on the radar, there is no moisture in our area at the moment. It's just to the north of us, and it's only a little blip on the radar, so nothing special. But I'm really impressed with this vehicle. Like, holy moly. Can you feel feel the difference between this and uh, your, your your car, or your uh, rental car, even though your rental car is freaking badass, like how it's like holding onto the road? Can you sense the difference? Um, not as passenger, no. Well, you were passenger yesterday, too. I know. Oh, but drive, oh yeah. You haven't driven in the snow yet, have you? in your car or have you i've not driven in the snow in my car yet i try not to let her drive as often as as possible and definitely not for the reason that she's a bad driver she's a phenomenal driver but i'd rather me be at fault if anything happens and uh, me get hurt if anything happens i don't want anything to happen to her this this beautiful woman has been through a lot and she's an angel and she doesn't need to go through anything else right baby yeah. here do you want your your your, your heat seaters on I turned it on AC because I was snow shoveling and I, well, like, the heat was like fire on me. Well, that's not the seat heaters. That's the air conditioning for the car. This is, look, babe, here. Sure, put the seat heater on. Oh, look, there's a little do you bottle want, up over there. Do you want the seat AC on? Mm -hmm. No, seat heater is fine. Oh, the seat heat. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me turn off the seat air conditioning. Look, guys, it's seat air conditioning right there. What the heck? What the heck? And I could actually feel that in, like, the small of my back, like, some air... Does it Where hurt? does that come from? I don't know. It just turns what? into ice on your butt. Are you okay, honey bunny? The AC. The AC. Oh. The seat AC. Yes. Yes. It cools down very quickly. Yes, I'm all right. It didn't hurt me. Thank okay. You, baby. You're welcome, honey bunny. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see what's going on here. This. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for these guys. I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay. And his tires are really bald. Um. Did you see that? He had no traction on his tires. They're super bald. Super Bowl road closed ahead guys. What is going on? I wonder what this is probably fallen trees So we're gonna have to go the opposite way all the way around and then turn around and Turn around every now and then I get a little bit closer Which to making it probably what they were trying to do is turn around and they got stuck going back up that little road slope. closed ahead This is so lame Guys, this is so lame And by the way, my prediction was right on right guys Actually, I predicted five inches and at my house. We only got four inches it looked like so Out of the whole foot and a half we could have gotten But if you guys have have noticed those of you who watch this channel often that I am luckily right a lot And it's luck, but anytime they say a prediction I always lower it significantly because it's like significantly less every time. Oh this poor guy I would not. Yeah, I'm gonna I would not, babe. 
Yep, I'm I'm not. Let me just make sure there's, there's, there's no one behind us, and then we're gonna blow by him as soon as this guy passes. We managed to make it across the street. And then for my friend, boy, that youngster boy famer fam, look at here's the icicles for you, bro. There are some icicles on the rearview mirror or the rearview. Oh, yeah. oh, guys, speaking of rearview mirror, look at the rearview mirror right here. Now I just hit this button and it's a camera. Boom. But you can't really tell. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's because there's snow all over it too. Oops, we gotta go forward, that would help. All right guys, so we're gonna pass up this, this dude with like no problem. Look, look guys, it's so icy, even on the smallest, lowest, not Four. steep slopes. Uh, and then that one? Oh. Ow. That's right. Babe, stop beating me. I won't. My babe's beating me. <laughs> She's beating me, babe. That was him doing it to himself. No, I wasn't doing it to myself. <laughs> I just got beat. Right in the face, dude. I just got beat. My goodness. Hey, he had it the best of a snowy day. You know what? Well, with, or maybe they're just waiting for the bus. We're, I, I we're just... Is up in Ruby. It, it is, which is crazy because I know some of the bus drivers over the years from watching this channel, some of them have, have actually told me that they've like watched it before they, they started their shift just to like see what it's like. But guys, imagine that job. You, you got to put on the chains on those darn buses and just it's. Uh, can't stand people who drive and don't even look. They just go right through stop sign. Guys, you need to be very careful coming up here. I know I'm complaining a lot right now and, and I'm sounding like I'm angry, but I'm a little bit bummed out at at how this area functions after like our first decent snow. And this isn't even a decent snow. This is like four inches. So now it says power failure, no power on Brownie Lane since yesterday afternoon, duh. So this person who keeps on going on the ring.com thing to like tell every, everybody like I, 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 I just think they're just trying to get attention at, at, at this point. Like it's so annoying because we all know that there's no power. We all know that a bunch of our food's going to waste. Even though we could put it outside, that is definitely true, we could put it outside. But yeah, guys, I'm just a, a, a little bit frustrated. And back to what I was saying earlier about like, can't they put the power lines underground like a fiber optic type of a thing? like they did in my home area of Newport Beach in most of the spots and stuff like that. I just don't understand, especially when they know it's always gonna happen and all the extra money they probably have to spend to uh, have workers go out and fix these problems. It's just, it's mind boggling to me. So we went through the village already. You know what, we'll go through it again to get through, but usually we would go left here to just take you through the whole area. But <coughs> So what we're gonna do now is go through the village and then uh, we're gonna uh, just stay on Big Bear Boulevard all the way to Baldwin Lake and that turns into Shea Road and we're gonna stay on Shea Road all the way so look at all the snow over here you guys just keep a mental uh, just keep a mental picture of it because when we get to the other side of town even though it's the same elevation you're not gonna see hardly as much snow you're I guarantee you there will be brown spots everywhere because it, there won't be as much coverage, not even nearly as much. It's it's really amazing to me. As, as I told you guys, it's because the desert's right on the other side of that part of the mountains. And that dry desert climate really, really fights with this warm, moist, arid, or just warm, moist climate over here um, from the, the Pacific storms coming through. So yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. For those of you who wanna know where to stay when we have snow and if you don't want as much snow and stuff, I can always give you suggestions on where in town to stay. Um, but I'm assuming most of you, I mean, like the se severe majority of you would wanna be in the snow. I mean, that's that's what people come up here for in the winter time. Why else would you wanna come up here? In the winter time, at least. Summertime, you got so many fun summer events and like mountain biking and hiking and, and rock climbing and, and boating and jet skiing. One thing I've noticed that we don't have is any uh, parasailing. I think that'd be kind of cool in the summer, huh, baby? Mm -hmm. One thing we're gonna do and do a video of, guys, it's not as expensive as I thought. I think my baby looked it up and it was 299 bucks for the both of us to take a helicopter tour. Mm -hmm. And that's for like the maximum helicopter tour. They have some that said like yeah, there's different prices. 150 bucks mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Different yeah. prices, different routes. I definitely wanna do all of them. 
Well, you we're, we're going to, baby. I promise you that. And if you get hot, let me know so we don't roll down the windscreen. It would be cool to go on uh, one in this kind of weather. I mean, obviously with a clearer sky, but the, the Well, if snow. right like the day after the snowfall in. for the mm -hmm. aftermath video, babe. Oh my gosh, you are so right. That would be amazing. It's amazing. With the thing of an eye, finally get back to work, you power line people. Sorry guys, just a bit frustrated. I, I, I know they're doing the, 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 the best that they can and I'm just whining and complaining because as I said, we still don't have power in our area and it's been 15 hours. I hope the time lapse turns out good. I really hope the time lapse turns time -lapse out good. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be beautiful. You think so, babe? Mm -hmm. I sure hope so. And now I'm, I'm worried because I plugged the time lapse into an external charger because obviously we don't have any power. And my luck, we'll get back to the house and it'll have cut out because it'll have died, the external charger. But that's just my luck doing these freaking videos. You guys, I've done a video of many times where I've done the whole valley and I thought I hit the record button, but I didn't. And I don't know how I don't notice that. I know, right, babe? Isn't that gnarly? All right, so as I said, if, if you get too hot, babe, let me know and we'll-, we'll I feel we'll, good right now. Do you feel good? Okay, fantastic. All right, good. Because I'm gonna say we'll, we'll put on the- the S the S the S I noticed that um, Matt had one of those little um, snow thingies that you drive, and then it like scoops up the snow. He does. So <laughs> that's hey, thanks. Thank you for that because he actually did say that like we could use that. He needs to show me how so I don't break it. But yeah, that that would be awesome to use his little. Uh, that would be really awesome. To yeah, use. It, it's like a lawnmower but for snow. I I, I would down to get in it really early in the morning and go that'd be fun it right would be so like fun. it'd be totally fun i'm so into stuff like that all right let's see if mickey d's is open for when we come back uh, because of power nope wow guys that's insanity that person's nope that nope person's being hopeful yeah and you know what god love them god mm -hmm. bless them right you have to love them. you gotta love them send them <laughs> send the prayers towards them sending them mcgriddle prayers <laughs> mcprayers because a lot of people were asking if any of the fast food places were open, so still they're not open after. Well, the, the, the electricity went out maybe around 6 p.m. yesterday. Uh, give or take an hour on, on the lower side, I think. Maybe I'm, like around 5. Yeah, I'm just trying. So to... since 5 o'clock yesterday, we've, we've been nothing. living like... Like how a mountain cabin should be. <laughs> and, and that's not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> At our house, in the, when I was growing up at Lake Arrowhead, we had a vacation house, my mom did, and that's how she had it. We we had a TV, but we could only put our VCR movies in because we didn't, uh, she wanted it to be a real escape and to, to get away from city life. Look at the blue skies, look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, oh my gosh. And then here we go, there's Snow Summit over there. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's all beautiful, and the clouds are just lingering right over the top of Snow Summit. That's awesome. Lingerer. The clouds are lingerer. But anyway, good morning, you guys. Once again, sorry for my complaining first thing in the morning. I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, not, not an unusual thing, but I didn't get much sleep last night, and kind of being bored out of my mind because we're so used to like cuddling and watching TV together. Uh, it was just, it was just tough. It was tough. Hang on. Wasn't this light just working, babe? <laughs> like when we pulled up to it, wasn't this light? It yeah, was, yeah, it totally was. I do remember, it totally was. Look, I, I gun it right here and just no spinning of the wheels. Guys, we're not spinning our wheels here, metaphorically speaking, and literally. I love these aftermath videos because it just shows how how gorgeous it is. And, and and you know what? Like, what made me feel really good yesterday during the live feed, you guys, is a lot of you were like saying, "Are you gonna do the aftermath video? Are you gonna do the aftermath video?" Like, oh my gosh, that feels so good, you guys. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I I I, I love doing this. It feels so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I never ruin your video like that. No, it wouldn't ruin it, baby. If if you're emotional, no, baby, that wouldn't. You're allowed to cry. I've cried I'm on these videos yawning. before. I'm okay, just yawning, baby. people. See how much he loves me. Even if I yawn, he, he is so concerned of what's going on. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, we get it. You have snow tires. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not me who you should get. Starbucks is not open. So check it out, guys. About that Starbucks right there in particular. You guys know that in the wintertime, what, what, all season, what, where we make our money up here is from tourism, right? So um, when we have decent sized snowstorms, they don't, employees do not come to work there and they close. Um, it's, it's absolutely the most ridiculous thing ever. Like that's when they should be there and not be late is in the snowstorms because that's when all of you guys come up here and, and you guys are expecting a nice, hot, fresh cup of coffee. And there's one Starbucks. Well, there's, but there's also a really good there's two Starbucks place that I, that we go to. The, it's, it's called the it, Big Bear. It's the best. It, it's called the Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, I buy the coffee there. I brew it at home. Better than it's so good, guys. Starbucks. And also, I've actually stopped going to Starbucks since I've got that coffee. I know, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and we're actually running low on the on um, Chris's stuff. So if you guys are ever out here, go there for your coffee. When I went to go see Chris a, a, a couple days ago, he's, he's the owner of the Big Bear Coffee Roasting Company. Um, I was telling him how I've been talking about him on the channel and that some of the some of you guys have already said that you've been in there. And literally right, right when I walked out, apparently someone had just gone in and uh, said, hey, Nick from Big Bear Weather and More said that you are the absolute best and so I'm here to check it out. So how cool is that, you guys? Thank you guys so much. I promise I would never steer you guys wrong, ever. Like, I would never do that. I want you guys to be stoked about everything that I am suggesting to you. And I'm telling you, that guy's got some amazing products. Well, look at how beautiful this is. This is just gorgeous. Big time. It's it's going all, all along here. Look, babe. Like all along. Brand new. Yeah, totally awesome. I'm gonna put, put my sign on. Oh, your sign's on low. Did you do that? I'm fine. Like that. Yeah, I'm on low. Okay. Uh, I, I, I need to be on low too. I wanted you guys to see how good this car is at, at passing with the uh, snow tires, but we're not going to do that because I don't want anyone to get mad at me. Look at, yeah, they're totally do, redoing that, that that walking path. And once again, that neighborhood across the way, it, the street's called Bear Loop, but I can't remember the neighborhood's name. Maybe that's the neighborhood's name also. It's my favorite neighborhood up here. I never drink water. I'm trying to remember. Oh, from the, the car dealership. That's where I got that. The car dealership. I was trying to remember where I got my bottle of water, you guys, because unfortunately, as I told you guys, I'm not the healthiest person, so I'm always drinking soda. And my wife has done her best to get me to drink water. She really has. Seriously, God bless you, baby. I love you so much. You 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 look out for me more than more than anybody in the world. But you are my wife, so I would expect that. Here's the snow play park right here, guys. You can bring your kiddos up here and do a little sledding down this hill right here to the left, on the left side of that building. They've, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's ready to go. It, that's been open for what now, like three weeks, babe? Or, or like something like that? Yep, they started making artificial snow for it. Maybe uh, the first, that small snowfall that we had about a week ago. So now I'd say maybe like a week. Or two. Or three. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be married if we don't argue, babe. <laughs> <laughs> 
but as everyone keeps on telling me, happy wife, happy life. And uh, I, that's very, it's a very, very, very true thing, but even not, I'm still happy. Lucky, actually. Somebody has to make a saying for happy husband, though. That's true. Um, happy Ruxpin, happy husband. <laughs> I, I love Teddy Ruxpin. I miss Teddy Ruxpin. Don't do it, my friend. Don't do it. Don't. Okay. Oh, that's my buddy. That's my buddy, Luis. How you doing, Luis? Good morning to you, sir. Okay, this is called Dead Man's Curve. Um, there's no barrier on this other side. And I don't know how I've never seen any cars always, piled into the houses right here. I always think the same Right, thing. baby? But there is, like, right here at the very curve, there is, like, this block. Looks like a metal block thing, just in case somebody does go over. There is something there. Nah. I didn't, I didn't know that. Nah. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Nah. It's, just, it's really small. Nah. It's, like, maybe five feet long no or six feet long. It's not nah. like very long. <laughs> <laughs> no way, babe. Guys, it's 29 degrees up in this B, and uh, it's 8.09 in the AM. We are doing the aftermath video with my lovely wife, Rachel. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can feel it in you. You're all I ever wanted. My arms are open wide. You know, I know who's open. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Well, give me a hint. Is it, is it in Big Bear City or Big Bear Lake? It's here in Big Bear City. It's my favorite place. To, one of my favorite Oh, places. yeah. Lumberjack. Mm -hmm. Lumberjack. I bet you Lumberjack is open. I think we're going to pass it soon. Or did we already we were way it? past oh, it, yeah. yeah. We way past it. No worries. And then Big Bear Smoke and Vape, guys. The owner is such a good friend of mine. And I love to give him as much business as possible. Once again, if he didn't have good products and just be a really nice generous ethical person i i even being my friend I, I would never refer you guys somewhere but he has like on top of all the smoke stuff he's got just little big bear trinkets and stuff like that um and just cool stuff to take home for souvenirs and stuff so it I, I i would like you guys to at least give that place a shot too when you come up and just want to find something different instead of just all the regular same old Big Bear shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I sell the same old thing like Big Bear beanie, but it's uh, it's it's for the channel. It's for the freaking channel. Whoa, look at that big old thing of snow right there, wow. All right, so we are, as you can see, it's getting bluer and bluer. This thing's telling me to keep my eyes on the road. I love that, I love it so much. Well, you're, you're so hot, babe, it's hard to not look at you. I mean, come on now. Look at the sky. That is so pretty. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous, honey bunny? Yeah. Okay, so. I am so excited. I'm excited that we got a, you know, a snowfall that blanketed the town. That's always happy times for me. I'm excited that it's it's very quiet up here right now. Obviously, we love having you guys up here. It's just during during the week when when, when we get the snowstorms during the week. Oh, it's so great because it's like like I can get through the town so quickly. That that's the only reason, guys. That's the only reason I like it quiet is so I can do these videos without uh, keeping you guys bored. Maybe I'm keeping you bored right now. I don't know, but I, I, I sure hope not because I love you guys a lot and I don't want you guys to be bored with me. But we do have, as you guys know, an, another person on the channel now. I, and on, on the eighth season, which is this season, we got to introduce my, my beautiful bride, Rachel. I still can't believe that I'm married, you guys. Can you guys believe it? Like, like what a lucky guy. Go up to Sugarloaf, you turn there. I promised some of you guys that I was gonna go do Sugarloaf, um, but because of not 
being able to upload any videos and stuff like that. And also, um, I was gonna go up to, to Sugarloaf last night, you guys, but because the cell phone service was so bad, <clears throat> I was losing service even in the parts of town where you get full, just five bars of service, full service. And unfortunately, we weren't getting anything in those specific areas, so I wasn't able to keep the live feed going and I wanted to be able to at least read all your, all your comments or, or get to them the best that I could. So you guys don't think I don't care because I really do care a lot. Like, ask my wife. I Like, I'm always, always responding to comments constantly. And I love doing it. And I don't like copy and paste. Like, you guys mean a lot to me. There's, there, there's, there's no copy and paste when it comes to you all at all. I, I love, thanks baby. I love the personalization because you guys all deserve that. Like it's, gosh, you guys are wonderful. You guys fill, fill my heart a lot. And I'm always telling my wife, all I want for you guys is, is, is just to be safe up here. And I never want you guys to ever hesitate to ask me any questions about town because I want you to enjoy yourselves. And you guys should know that all these videos that he makes, he puts a lot of work into, and there's so much time put into it, and then we get home, and he still has to edit it, and upload it, and then he's answering all your questions, and then I talk, and my my question gets put into your question, or your <laughs> answers, and he has to do it all over again, so it's a lot of work, so I just want you guys to know that he really does love you all, and cares about how the videos come out. Thanks, honey. It's a lot of time. You well, the, they're, true. they're certainly worth it, aren't they? Yeah. Amazing people. Awesome followers. My wife was really, so really, really worried so of, because people on the internet can be very mean. And, you know, like she was really, really, really worried about that. And she does have a shy bone in her body. So she is shy doing these, these types of things. But, like, it's, it, it's because of you guys <clears throat> that she was so talkative last night and and just being just 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 such a contributor last night to the video and it just made me feel so good that she's coming out of her show when it comes to these videos and it, it's not so much that i'm shy it's that you know growing up i was oh my gosh i'm gonna get emotional i was bullied a lot believe it or not and i'm worried about being bullied <laughs> so i don't want to hear negative comments about me or him or even when there are a few negative comments, they it just I try to walk away and not hear what he's reading because it hurts me that much, and I know that has a lot to do with being bullied as uh, growing up. So I'm I'm afraid of being bullied is is what it is. It's not so much of being shy. Baby, you're so adorable. I'm yeah. I'm the same way. <laughs> I was bullied too, you know. Yeah. And I used to stutter really really bad, you guys. And my last name is Amstetter, and they would call me Amstutter. Like it it was brutal. Like it was really really hurtful. And I still stutter quite a bit today, but not nearly as much as I used to. I used to have to like stomp my foot to get any words out. I'd get to like the end of a sentence and then to get like the last word out, I just, it wouldn't come out. So I'd have to like stomp my foot or do something dramatic to like get it out. Really hurtful. Yeah. Kids are hurtful. And when it's adults, and it, yeah, it's like pathetic. It's shocking. Yeah, it's, it's shocking. really shocking. When adults do it, I just... I know you were the ones bullying when I was little too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was being bullied by adults too, which is just so sad. I was I was bullied by you know but, people my age and and adult. I've got it all the way around and adults as well as different kinds, but really bad. I keep telling her though. I think the adult part was that she she is such a beautiful girl that you know I think a lot of women really like like it 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 really upset them. And that's hard for me to believe because I see a lot of really beautiful girls that have women support them. Yeah, but... And I wonder how did they do that? But, like, think, think about this, though. When I was getting bullied, I never talked about it because I was embarrassed about it. So then... Oh, my God, baby, look, the donkeys. Oh, look, we got some donkeys. Jackasses. Hello. Look, and a baby jackass. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys, we see the baby tangy. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was chewing. He was chewing that that eater. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, that was so freaking cute. So, um, baby, thank you for.
for having the courage to share that because I want you to know that you sharing stuff like that and me always being honest about what I've been through, it's definitely gonna help people out because people need to hear that other people have been through it and especially when they look up to people and I'm not saying everyone looks up to me guys but there are some some youngsters on here who do look up to me and I do the best I can to make you guys feel good and share what I've been through and just know that it will get better it will get better you just keep your head up walk, stand tall and uh, you know I've, I've, I've got different ways that I suggest to deal with it obviously walking away is the best way but it's very difficult to deal with sometimes and I know some parents are not gonna like this but sometimes I think uh, you need to just uh, if it's too much you need to take a swing <laughs> and unfortunately it's look at this tree that snapped last night holy moly and then oh my gosh guys and this is Baldwin so as we get deeper into Baldwin Lake you can already see there's significantly less snow out here like significantly less snow compared to those huge piles on the other side of town. Yeah, it's just significantly less. I bet they got maybe in, in like two inches You can tell by the here. snow berm too. Because and that's from the snow plow. Huge. huge. Guys, we had to shovel our way out of the barn. I was out there shoveling for an hour. I'm just kidding. I shoveled a little bit though, <laughs> didn't I, babe? Yeah. It's awesome. And then look at these beautiful clouds just, uh, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Isn't that so pretty, babe? And then let me point out this direction. You guys can see over there. These baby cakes. Let's see if I can get this camera to work while we're driving this fast. Nope. It's still 28 degrees, y'all. And we are on basically the furthest point away from, uh, from the Big Bear Dam, as you can get when you're in this part of the valley. We got someone behind us, so we're gonna let them pass, even though you guys know that usually I'm I'm the champ when it comes to this, but today I'm gonna be the chump. No point in uh, in being in a rush, right? Is that so, water? No, it, that's all snow, but um, it's it, like So where I was just pointing at you guys, when we get enough snow out, out here, which means that there's just an inundation with snow on the other side of town. But when we get enough snow out here, this turns into a lake. Hence the name Baldwin Lake. And it is beautiful. And look at this sign upside down. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna let this guy pass. Oh, it is, go ahead, buddy. He's just going really slow. Yeah. He doesn't know that it's Big Bear Weather and more driving right now. <laughs> oh, wow. It's just so pretty. So out here, you guys, truly, the snowfall is always way less. But one thing that's miserable out here, and you get a lot more power outages living out here because it gets so windy all the time out here. I mean, when I would visit my friend or old friend Chandler, up, uh, he lived right on the lake part up here, a few streets up from here. Um, I can't tell you how many times I would cruise over clear skies, but the wind was whistling outside and howling and then the power would go out and it was a, just, and it was a, a fairly new house too. But yeah, my goodness, there's power, there were power lines down everywhere last night. Pretty crazy. And the only blessing about not having that much snow until it started snowing because all the power went out when it was raining. Um, if we would have had the snowfall with all that wind, it would have been way more gnarly, you guys. It would have been way more gnarly because once it started snowing, the wind calmed down quite a bit, but it was still windy, but nothing like it was. I'll let, let dude pass. Oh, I'm loving these snow tires, my beautiful bride. And my bride is over one. So yeah, all that white area with enough snow and enough rain turns into a lake for a few weeks to at the most I've seen it is like a month and a half, but it's 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 incredible. It 
it, the feeling of being up here just changes. It's just so incredible because everything becomes like basically lakefront property up here. Obviously not if you're in Upper Moon Ridge and stuff like that, but um, yeah, it's just amazing. And my wife and I want to get one of those things. I don't know if the Passport brand is what we want, but we do want one of those. <clears throat> and the big reason is so because my house is so, or our house is so tiny that we can we can stay inside there when we have family come up and visit. I feel like that's the better solution. Yeah. I I do too. I do too. I don't want to move. We are we so we, we were grandfathered into a really inexpensive rent, you guys. And if, if we move, my rent will at least double. I guarantee you because I've put thousands of dollars over the years into upgrades there too so they would have a way to justify almost tripling the rent do you guys want to know what i pay i'm going to be honest with you guys for a two-story house a little two-story house i pay 550 dollars a month it's i i know it's ridiculous and when i first moved up here you guys i didn't have a pot to piss in i i i couldn't afford anything that's why i do i i, I posted my videos on youtube because i couldn't afford a thumb drive to save my videos but that, that rent does not exist up here. It's because he's been living here for so long. There's nowhere, I mean, a place like that now will go for $1,200 yeah. a month. It's just crazy. Yeah, 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 it's, it is it is crazy. Which is why it was a no brainer to move out of my house. Just to, Even though know. her rent was so cheap, my rent was it was kind of shocking. But uh, I was paying $1,000, but again, I moved before COVID hit, before everything went all crazy haywire and they, you know, hiked up all the prices for literally everything. So I moved in a good time as well. And I had a good rent, but still, I, it was a no brainer to move to your house. And, like, and, and when, and, and right when she moved out of her house, the next people are paying 50% more than she was paying immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, and I'm surprised that they got that good of a deal, to be honest, because my wife really stole that place. Like she freaking like, I'm really impressed with you, baby, on how you actually pulled that off, finding a place like that, even during COVID, because even back then... No, it was right before I, I right before COVID hit. That's right. Maybe about six months before COVID hit. Um, that's right. I got the place. But again, everybody was asking me, why are you moving there? Because it was $1,000 a month. It was so many spider webs. It was like, it looked like a little... Um, abandoned house and I, I was like you know what I know if I give this a lot of TLC it's going to be something and it right wasn't it? It really was it was beautiful and hold, hold on a second baby I'm going to change the subject real quick but if you guys notice look at how little snow there is over here this is the same elevation you guys and it's just 8 miles from the Big Bear Dam as the crow flies so there's probably an inch of snow over here it's just amazing to me every single time now, if you come into town right here on Highway 18 on the back side, you'll see where we're about to go right now. If you come into town on Highway 18 on the back and you see like a foot of snow here, you're not getting into the other side of town. <laughs> I guarantee you, because there's probably three feet of snow. It's, 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 it's just incredible to me. And look at the blue skies, it's so beautiful. No plowing, yep. You, you, you know what babe, good observation, you can tell they didn't plow, because they didn't need to. Well, uh, well actually they, little, yeah, but... they did plow, but there wasn't any snow to push on on the sides they just tried to get the little inch of snow out so if we turn right here okay look at the sign right here so lucerne valley and apple valley and victorville you turn right here and right when you make the left at the top there you're at the very top and you start heading down so this is the very end of the route this is the end of the big bear valley and we're going to be driving back into the Armageddonness, and I know that's not a word, but the Armageddonness clouds. Oh, I'm so comfortable in this car, honey. But I do want some AC on my butt. So we just turned off the seat heaters. Watch how cold it gets and how fast. It, I mean, it's so fast. I wish they could feel it. It literally feels like somebody put an ice pack on you. Yeah, it totally does. <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, it totally does feel exactly what it feels like. You feel it right away. Do you feel it? Immediately. Even through all these thick clothes. <laughs> so that's Baldwin Lake, you guys. What I'm pointing at right there.
gosh, we are so lucky to live here. I mean, we are so lucky to live here. <laughs> what? Put that away so you don't accidentally smoke it. Don't be. Okay. I was hoping we could like pull over and show them this beautiful view. There's plenty of beautiful views. Um, Baldwin Lake Ecological. That Park. is. Oh uh, yeah. I've seen a bunch of cars parked there sometimes, and I don't know what, what they necessarily do there. I've been wanting to go to the Big Bear Museum. So have I. That would be a cool place to also record for the folks, too. We should, we should do that. I'd be down for sure, babe. So, guys, it's so bright over here, especially with all the snow and the sun reflecting off the snow. So I'm looking forward to getting back into these clouds. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at how beautiful it is. As I said, when we get huge monster storms, this whole thing is a lake. And it's it's like just about the size of Big Bear Lake. It's crazy. Of course, not nearly as deep, but it's it looks like it's super deep, but then it, it's only probably like three feet deep, two feet deep. You can walk across it. Don't suggest you do that, though. So how's everybody doing today? Hope you all are doing great. I know you all are, 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 are a lot of you are looking forward to the aftermath video because obviously we were only able to record the snow while it was snowing at nighttime with no lights in town. So it was really difficult to see anything. But I hope you can see what transpired and are happy about it. I really hope a lot of you do get a chance to come up here to just to kind of have a little bit of fun with our first uh, decent snow of the year. Yeah, it's so beautiful out there. I think the ground is so hard up here that that's why it turns into a lake and it doesn't just, uh, just uh, you know, uh, absorb into the ground. How about this, babe? Have you felt a slip yet? It's great. I haven't, I haven't slipped. Now, when we went into that thick pile, we did slip. But it was because it was super deep. When we were pulling over to let other, other people buy, which is what, mm -hmm. what, 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 what you should do. Oh, well, oh my gosh, that seat feels so good. Pile, yeah, yes. We, driving around on the roads, I've not done It's incredible. So guys, if I remember, I'm gonna post, uh, I, I, I made a little video clip when I got the snow tires put on with the receipt and stuff like that also. But I did I did a little clip of the tires themselves so you guys can see what the brand is. For those of you who do come up here often and who do want to put snow tires on, I really suggest it. If you have all wheel drive or four wheel drive guys, you're not gonna ever have to worry really about putting on chains. Um, and the chain control and, and, and the laws regarding the chains is typically they'll, they'll say, if you have all wheel drive or four wheel drive, and you have snow tires, they'll let you through. But even if you have the most badass truck ever, four wheel drive, like let's say 12 wheel drive, <laughs> like just crazy, like just the craziest truck ever, um, they'll still make you put on chains during R R2 conditions and certain R1s. Because they want to keep us all safe. It's so gorgeous up here. But yeah, guys, so this side of town is the side of town that gets the least amount of snow. And it's the same every time. As you can see, a lot of blue skies here on this side of town, as usual, with storms. But we're gonna be heading back into that darkness. Charlie Murphy, darkness. All right. 
Chappelle's show is so amazing, man. I, I, I love Dave Chappelle. I know that came out of nowhere, you guys, but it's because uh, when I said darkness, I thought about Charlie Murphy skits on Chappelle's show. So this is Highway 18 on the backside, guys, just in case you're wondering. Hopefully this plow doesn't smash us with dirty and nasty snow. But he is. say right after we could go through the um, the drive through uh, oh yeah duh, that's right that's right you know what because I have to upload the video maybe we can just run to bonds we'll, we'll go home real quick and because I have to upload this super fast now we're in Big Bear City folks technically we just passed the uh, the city limits line And we have a truck behind us hauling some serious buns coming up on our tail. So guys, I always suggest, it's very important, even if you feel like you're the best driver out there, like I do sometimes, even though I crashed the other day, um, when you're in this, these types of conditions and you get a bunch of stuff like locals behind you who are just right on your tail, I always, always, always beg of you guys, do not speed up and make yourselves more unsafe, just pull out at the next pull out that you possibly can and let them buy. It's not a race, it's not a thing measuring contest. It's, you know, it's, it's just, it's about keeping you guys safe and let them slip and slide and, and you know, I don't want you guys to be in any accidents. I want you guys to be safe. So even if you have to pull over 10 different times, just do it. But as, as I said, it's really important you do not speed up to try to appease and accommodate them because I'm that type of person who, like I'm always looking out for other people and I don't wanna be in the way ever. So it's, um, and sometimes that can lead to some dangerous driving and I don't want anything to happen to any of you. So yeah, don't, don't be embarrassed. Don't feel like you have to speed up. Those people are not gonna remember you once they pass you. Like it's just not a big deal. Just please, please stay safe. You guys have a families who love you. I love you. My wife loves you guys. So we just want you to be safe. And the temperature is still, it's 29 degrees in the Big Bear City area. Adia, adia. I'm interested to see this car once the snow is off and I wash the car in the next day or so to see where the big dents are from the tree branches hitting my new car. So sad. This little phone gets heavy after a while. <laughs> oh, free, free, free in them? Are they free? are on the road. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that, Mr. Car? Yeah, when they're crossed. I, that's a good point. My eyes are always crossed. <laughs> uh, it's so beautiful, the blue, and it it kind of looks blurry, right, where those clouds are, guys? That's because there's snow coming out of those clouds, but it's not much. But I just love it so much. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So we're going to take this as far as we can go because I said we're gonna do the whole valley tour so remember on the other side of the lake where it was uh, said road closed so I'm sure we'll hit some signs going this way that say road closed and then we'll turn around there and head back to the homestead but it's we don't get these st storms too often so I enjoy doing the full aftermath video it's 28 degrees at ease 28 degrees at ease. Oh no, road closed.
closed. What? Guys, this is gonna be a short aftermath video, kind of. I mean, what the heck, man? Why is it closed? Oh, the power line stuff, probably. Well then, close it. Shut it. Shut it down. And I don't even have any cash on my Apple card right now, or else I would just use my phone. But we, oh, we can't pipe, we can't go anyway. When we get home, we'll call a couple spots. We'll call Lumberjack and stuff like that, okay, baby? Or we could just go to Alpine. I'm sure they're open too. Well, yeah, we'll just call them and check it out and see. Alpine I like a lot better. But then again, my wife likes Lumberjack and if that's where the wife wants to go, then that's where we shall go. If they're open, sesame. If it's open, we're gonna go. If it's open, I wanna know. I'm a poet and didn't know it. This is not hard on Big Bear Boulevard. So we could go straight, but we're gonna take. Okay, I guess this guy is not gonna go. Sweet, we'll go. Now we're in Big Bear Lake, guys, city limits, population 6,025. You know what's crazy, guys? I have more than double the subscribers as there are residents up here in this town. That's so cool. And there's the snow play again, getting a different perspective. You guys can see there's a lot more snow over here than there is in the Baldwin area. Ah, oh, just to show you guys how good these snow tires are, I really wanna pass this guy. Not to be rude or mean, but I'm not gonna do it. I just really wanna do it. I just really wanted to do it for you guys. <laughs> Once again, my favorite neighborhood in this whole area. It's right across there. You know what we can do? We're gonna turn right on Stanfield Cutoff actually and try and finish the uh, aftermath going that direction. Does that sound good to you, honey, buddy? Well, thanks, babe. My name is Mud. That's how the new, you put like wire on it instead. Oh, that's interesting, babe. I wonder why. You guys know that this used to be like, the water used to go all the way up to the very bottom of that. And it's so sad that it's not anymore. This side doesn't even have a lake anymore. But if the lake replenishment project does go through and we get funded completely for it, then uh, we're, we're, we're gonna have a permanently full lake. But don't think this is too gross, but it's gonna be because uh, we are gonna be using our sewer water and just all of our reclaimed water and running it through our water cleaning facility and putting it all back in the lake constantly. So the lake will always be full. Even during droughts, the lake will always be full. Look at, guys, do you see all those watermarks on those, on those pylons? The water used to go all the way up to the top. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna hang a Roscoe. And then we're gonna hang a left though at North Shore and go as far as we can. And then turn around. Here we go. Stanfield cutoff, folks. Oh, this should be a nice view right here. All right, let's see here. We just got a little slippery sideways on that turn a little bit. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Some blue skies in the background there. And then if you look out this way towards Baldwin, we're just gonna do a quick little Baldwin view. You're not, you can't see Baldwin from here, but that's the, the direction. But yeah, look at that, so pretty. Part of that fence got knocked, knocked out, babe. That green fence. Oh, really? And it looked like the size of a car. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's what it was. No bueno, guys. I hope everyone's okay. But yeah, it was definitely a car. How did they get through the steel? No, it couldn't have been a car because the steel pylon is. Oh, yes, it is. No way. 
the the little uh, what's it called that that steel rail mm -hmm. that that absorbs impacts and helps keep you safe mm -hmm. from going off the edge. So anyway, guys, where we got shut down to see it's closed here also. So that's why we are we bypassed it and now we are heading in towards the Fonskin area. Chains required. Four wheel drive with snow tires. Okay, carry chains. We were just talking about that, weren't we, guys? Because people see that sign and they'll stop right there to put chains on their tires right now with the roads like this. Then it's not needed. What are you looking at? My OCD. All right, Woodland Inter. Inter. Uh, never mind. Okay, so we're gonna get some good. Oh, maybe not. Snow Summit is right there. You can hardly see it through those clouds right there. But there's Snow Summit over there. You see it, baby? Mm -hmm. So we are on North Shore, guys. This is Highway 38. And I know I just said we're on Highway 18, right? When we were on, on this same road. But once you get to a street called Greenway, for some reason they've 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 made it so it's so as confusing as possible for you guys. So if you stay straight on Highway 18, it turns into Highway 38. And then Highway 38 is on the opposite side of town, also leaving town. It's just the strangest thing. The strangest thing. Stranger Things. I think my wife likes that show called Stranger Things. Do you, babe? I watched the first few seasons. Was it enjoyable? Just after. Really? Yeah. You guys, there's a movie that I keep on watching like over and over again for the weirdest reason. Like, it makes me feel like comfortable and safe, um, and like just, just I don't know, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, watching certain movies like make me happy and take me to certain places. Just like music is like time traveling, but it's called uh, Winchester, and it's it's a horror movie about the Winchester Rifle Company. And it's a pretty awesome movie. Like, I, I don't know why, but it just makes me feel so comfortable watching it. Weirdest thing, but I've been, I, I, don't I watch it a lot, babe? Mm -hmm. Like, too much, kind of? <laughs> She's like, yeah, uh-huh. Too much is an understatement. Oh, my goodness. Oh, babe, here. Why don't you charge your, charge your phone? So we got a good charge on your phone. So gorgeous. And the further we go this direction, guys, the more snow we will be coming into. As I said, I coined it as the Big Bear Snow Rule. And it's 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 been 100% exactly that the whole time that I've lived here. Do you want to set this as your favorite device? Wow. That's weird. Maybe my Starlink's working now, babe. So when I bought this brand new car a week ago or a week and a half ago, when um, I was really excited because I had to have aftermarket in my other Subaru a remote start put in because living up here, it's nice to be able to start your car and then go out 20 minutes later when your windshield's defrosted, your seats are warm, the car is warm. But you got your side right there, babe. Put it on whatever temperature suits your makes. Okay. Um, let's just uh, do that. There you go. Oh, uh, because it is. Yep. Okay, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> uh, doesn't it? Like, oh my gosh, it's like so nice. Like, yeah, like so nice. But yeah, so when I bought the car, the Starlink, I was able to unlock the doors, lock the doors, set the climate inside the car, everything that you could possibly imagine, but the start engine feature wasn't working. So while I was at the dealership, I didn't want to drive all the way back to Big Bear and then have to bring it all the way back down. So. The Starlink people told me to take it to the service department and they supposedly replaced the whole system. But not only did it not work, um, but they didn't even, when the car was done, like 
show me how to use it or anything. They just pulled pulled the car up and walked away. That, I, I mean, I was, I was pretty disappointed in that. Otherwise, everything about the service was incredible there. But uh, so they said it could take 24 hours for it to work. And I knew that it wasn't gonna work. So I got home and started trying everything. And not only does the, the start engine part not work, but I can't roll up, I, I can't unlock the doors, lock the doors, none of it works. Absolutely none of it works now. And so I convinced the gen the general sales manager at this the DHS or something Riverside Subaru um, to come pick my car up eventually here on a flatbed, so I don't have to put a bunch of miles on it for an error that they that, that they made. And uh, also I put the new snow tires on, so I don't want to be driving that far on snow tires unless I I have to because the snow tires wear out quickly. So I didn't think they would actually appease that request, but he did. And uh, we're gonna be setting something up in the next two weeks to have them come pick up the car on a flatbed to have that part of the car fixed, that technology fixed so we can start the car from inside instead of having to go outside in the brutal cold and start the car. I'm telling you, that's it's really a phenomenal feature when you live up here, guys. A phenomenal feature. I'm hoping when we get home, the power's back on. Do you want to place a, a friendly bet, babe, for one hug or two hugs? If it's not on, I give you two hugs. If it is on, I give you one long hug to, to equal two hugs. Fair? Okay. But it's not going to be on. Oh, I'm just going to give you a long hug anyway. So, I ha! three hugs if it's not on. Well, fine. I'll give you three and a half. How about that? And one long one. So four, I'll take. You got it. Done. It's a done deal. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you see? Okay, now I need to switch it up just for a second, baby. I need to do this part. Whoop. It'll stay that temp on your... No, it, it went back down to low. Just give it two seconds, or five seconds, and then we'll, we'll put it back on warm for you, honey, okay? All right, we can put it back on warm for you. It, it looks like, according to what I read here, that it's not gonna be on till tonight. No way. Yeah. So guys, at like six in the morning, we heard the microwave go beep and and <laughs> we and, so and the cheering. lights flickered for a second. <laughs> we were like so cheering, she even, got on her phone to like do a video to like send to her family like like right before it, it like officially turned back on to send it to them like we were so excited I you guys was running to the coffee machine <laughs> and it went back out <laughs> yeah well it, it yeah it's it, only a split second yeah it, it flickered for a split second but when we heard the microwave and stuff like that we got so excited and then they ripped it away from us <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm worried about the stuff in our fridge, even though it's mostly just mocha frappuccino drinks and sodas and stuff like we that. We have the pizzas that I bought yesterday. Yeah, I think have... I am going to throw those out in the snow today. That's a great idea. Maybe that's a great idea. Yeah. And then as soon as the electricity goes back on, guess what we're having? Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about the pizza. I like the Red Baron boxed pizzas. She does. And she really I does. I also like the California Pizza Kitchen brand. She ain't lying. What, what, what baby? Just icy. Oh, the driveway or something? The icy. Another room. Oh. I love how you can see the little wild animals. Uh, foot tracks. foot track. Yeah, I was so I, I was noticing that too. It's so adorable. <laughs> I love these little animals up here. They're so cute. Even the bears. Even the big bears. You guys know I've never seen a bear up here, and I've lived here for eight years. But I have fr uh, friends up here who have... Uh, there are times where they'll see bears every day for, like, weeks at a time because of where they live. Like, the top of Sugarloaf, you guys, <laughs> if you want to be in bear country, well, there you go. There you go. You got to get some bears. In the and over by Snow Summit too. So beautiful here. There's bears. I did catch on my ring ring doorbell, but it was dark outside 
and I, I've, I've saved it. There was a bear at my back door going, going through some trash. Hopefully he doesn't like chickens. Even though you know he does. Oh yeah, those things love chicken. I know, it's like one bite. Queen would probably mess him up though. We have a very, like a very feminine chicken and her, her name's Queen and she has an attitude but she loves us so much. She lets us hold her and like she throws her like shoulders back when we like, when we approach her which is telling us to go ahead, <laughs> make my day. <laughs> So we just went through font skin, you guys. I hope you didn't blink because we're out of font skin now. Out of the downtown area. One of those. Yes, we do. We certainly do. Look at how beautiful it is over here, guys. And we're coming up to where the the Big Bear Eagle cam thingy, majiggy is. Oh, look at this. Is that a tree? Oh, I, didn't that look like a tree laying down? It's just a bunch of snow on the rock right there. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's there's a lot more snow over here, guys. So we're we're getting close to the complete opposite side of of town of the of the Big Bear Valley. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Raise it. You raise it up so we can be warm. So I think we're getting close to the Eagle Sanctuary. I think it's right here. I think the Eagle Cam is super, super awesome. It's just how they're so like, so protective of it and they don't want any human interaction or like this and that, but then they have a camera right there and they climb the tree to like check on it and stuff like that. It's just kind of a kind of a bit of a hypocrisy as far as I'm concerned, but it is beautiful. I do love it. And I know a lot of people all over the world watch it, which is amazing. So they can see our little cute town. But I am someone you guys who has really um, felt a lot more heart for animals than I have people. And it's because I became cynical when it comes to people over the years because of all that I've been through. And once again, referring back to the bullying. Mm -hmm. And animals are so innocent. My gosh, they're so innocent. I, I see a hurt animal and it, it like almost makes me cry. And it does make me cry. When we lost one of our chickens, I was, I was inconsolable, huh, babe? Okay, we're gonna let this toolbox right here on the side of the road. Do you see that? There was a toolbox right there. We're gonna let this guy pass behind us. Oh, look at the beautiful view of the lake and the other side of the mountain, or the, the other side of the lake. Hopefully there's a ditch right here. I hope he He didn't even flash his blinkers to say thank you. He doesn't know the rules. They're not around here. <laughs> I know. You can tell my Guys, I, I like like for me, I do like three different thank yous anytime someone lets me pass. Like three different thank yous because it's so rare for people to be considerate up here. It really is. It's everyone, it's their world and we're just passing through it. Wow, how gorgeous. Isn't it just spectacular, babe? Aren't I? Isn't that gorgeous? These people on this channel, they deserve it. They deserve all this time that you and I both spend doing this. And because I love it so much, you guys, going back to like uh, doing in life what makes you happy, no matter what, you win. You you win. And the icing on the cake is if any money comes in afterwards, but no matter what, like waking up each day saying, wow, I get to do this or I get to do that. Instead of, oh man, I have to go to work today. Like I'm, I, I'm being able to be happy about going to work each day is a beautiful thing. And my, my job 
I love doing my job and I work tons of hours each week and this YouTube thing has nothing to do with my job. This YouTube thing is just an extra curricular activity for me that I, I'm just so passionate about. Not necessarily, necessarily the YouTube aspect, but uh, recording our weather because when I see it snow like this and I, and I watch these videos, it takes away any depression that I have. And my wife has helped with that a lot, <laughs> a lot. So thank you for that, baby. I know you guys aren't used to seeing me drive so slow, but I'm really enjoying this beautiful route and I am so tired too though. Aren't, aren't you a bit tired too, babe? No? Oh yeah? My wife is a trooper. Crazy, I was gonna say now. Yeah, she is a trooper, you guys. Man, she has so much energy, I don't know how she does it. And her job, even though she like tells me it's not hard, like for me, just five minutes of what she does is so much effort for me because it's it's a lot of work but she's just has such a great attitude and just, I'm just so proud of you honey thank you baby you're welcome hey you have to choose something you're passionate about exactly makes you feel good exactly yeah. with my job I always feel accomplished at the end of the day so yeah. I feel good that's it <laughs> you know what that's that's what everybody is yearning for right there and we are very very fortunate that that's what we have in our lives at this point so I'm hoping it's not gonna make us turn around here at the Big Bear Dam because it said the road closed oh my gosh it's so beautiful I just cannot and I, I, I want you guys to know when you're looking at what you're looking at at the lake right now, I'm focusing straight ahead on the road. So do not worry. I'm not putting my wife in any jeopardy. Maybe some Wheel of Fortune, but not jeopardy. All right, let's see here. Babe, that was funny. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the courtesy laugh, baby. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Here we go, yo. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? Here we go, yo. Barney. All right. Barney Pfeiffer. Beautiful lake, man. Beautiful lake, beautiful town. We're coming up to the snowiest part of town. Obviously the higher the elevations you go, like in the upper Moon Ridge area, when you're up against the mountain, you're, you're gonna get more snow, but this is the snowiest part of the valley we're driving through right now. And then when we get to the Big Bear Dam, that's technically the snowiest part. At least from eight years worth of my videos, you guys, it's the snowiest part. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to patch this video together, babe. My luck, we are gonna have the power back on when we get home and then I'm gonna be like panicking because I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever to upload, oh my gosh. But if the power's out, then I won't feel as bad. It's really weird, guys. Really weird how my mind works. Here's the dam, the dam dam, the John claude Van Dam. And we are at Big Bear Boulevard. Look, the power's still out here too. All the way at the dam. All right, let's do this. So at one point, all of Edison's lines were down. We're down, every single one of them, guys. Every single one of them. Up here, every single one. Yeah, totally. <laughs> the one that controls that one signal. <laughs> that seems to happen up, up here. Like, like uh, sometimes we'll have some major outages because someone crashes into like the one pole, the one like power pole that has serious significance up here. That's just that's just how it works up here. That was last year that happened. That was last year, huh? So this is driving into Big Bear on Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard. Well, it's still not Big Bear Boulevard until we get up by the village, but so this is Highway 18. And uh, yeah, this is Highway 18 on the front side. We just did some Highway 18 on the back side. 
And this is the route that 90% of you come up. So this will show you what it's like driving from the dam into town. Oh man, I'm telling you, a nap sounds so good right now. You're so cute, babe. <laughs> There's a hiking trail. Oh, no, no, wait, this isn't it. My bad. This is not it. But it's called Castle Rock. And it's like the most popular trail up here. It's a, I think it's 1.2 miles one way. But it takes you up to the top. And apparently it's not the easiest. But everyone goes on it. Um, I haven't been on it yet because I'm lazy. But I will eventually go on it. My wife and I will take a nice little hike, hikey hike. Bring, bring the, bring the woof woofs. That would be pretty awesome, huh? They would love it, I think. Hopefully, Luna isn't dragging her belly the whole time. Those short little legs. One of our dogs has the shortest legs. She is so sweet though, she is so loving. Like she is so loving. My wife took that dog from uh, someone who was abusing the dog. Not like like stole it, but like took it off the person's hands. And I, I, I admire people a lot who will take an innocent creature who's being hurt and abused and love it and take care of it. But that's my wife's heart. She's 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 a beautiful woman inside and out. Man, these tires are phenomenal. I am so excited about. We do need to kind of slow down right here though, because we are on a steep slope, and I don't want to lose any control. So you want to kind of pump your brakes a little bit. You don't want to be laying on your brakes. Here's Castle Rock Trail right here. It goes up through there. And now we're on Big Bear Lake again. Oh, we could probably be going a little bit faster now. Guys, this car has a turbo in it too. Like it's so, it's, for a Subaru, you just don't expect it to be fast like that. But it is a fast little vehicle. Okay guys, the temperature is still hovering at 28 degrees. You know what, I keep, why, why am I, why am I not? having the map showing like I always do. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, very interesting. Why is the map not going? Uh, where would I go for the... Oh, yeah. Bluetooth. Subaru. Let's, uh, let's connect this. Let's see here. I think that's how you do it. Or no, maybe phone. Yeah, it's got to be under phone. To connect the device, yes. Mr. Amstetter's iPhone. Bluetooth. And we're coming up to Boulder Bay, you guys. And this is a really beautiful part of town as well. There's a little park here. It's so pretty. Let's turn on Apple CarPlay as well. Perfect. see too much through there but I don't like this map as much as I like the Google map but anyway here's Boulder Bay Park you can go park right there in all those parking spots and just walk over to that park area and Enjoy some beautiful views and a nice little walk. I mean, it's not much of a walk, but you can walk in a bunch of, in circles over and over again and get some exercise. It's very beautiful. done with this 
ride, y'all. We've done the whole valley. Yeah, we didn't go to Irwin, but we stayed on the main part of the valley. Just so you guys can see what it's like all over town. And I don't see any snow in the forecast for a while. So I wanna make sure we really did a good aftermath video. So right here, years and years ago, there used to be a drive-in theater. Right there to the right. So pretty over there. Everything up here is so pretty when there's a blanket like this, a white blanket of snow. It's so nice. My wife is not the, the biggest fan of of snow, but well, of being in it physically, but like looking out the window and seeing it from our nice warm house, she loves it, huh? It's beautiful, huh? so or else we're, to, we're gonna have to go all the way around the lake we're not gonna record that part if we do guys but I'll be very disappointed if we have to do that but I think we can take a back route here to do this easy tiger jeez please easy tiger jeez please I really hope we can get through hey babe does it oh look the map's showing that it looks like we might be able to so we're gonna go up here and follow it around to the left and stay on it straight. Oh my gosh, I'm, it, it has to work. Look at all this traffic, babe. Three cars just passed us. And look at all the snow over here, guys. See about four or five inches. I told you guys. My prediction, yes. Even though I'm sad, I wish we had more snow. I hate predicting less snow and being right about it. But as I've, I've also mentioned to you guys, I've never ever this whole time living here ever had them predict it incorrectly in our favor, meaning more snow. Like never saying like six to eight inches and then we get like a foot. It's never been like that. It's always more. That's why I've, I've always thought there's something fishy going on with our local weather forecasters um, who, might, who are in the pockets of the ski resorts and stuff. I know that's not true, but I used to think that that they were just saying what they needed to say to get you guys up here to come spend money at our ski resorts. Look at this. This is Aspen Glen, okay. I've always wondered where Aspen Glen was. Guys, look at how beautiful that snow is right there. Oh man. So fresh and so clean, clean. Ain't nobody don't ask me. So we could have done this earlier, <laughs> but I didn't realize it. So we're passing all that road work where it said road closed. They, they didn't have any detour signs. Once again, guys, welcome to Big Bear. For the tourism, that must be a nightmare when you have no idea that you can go around like this because you would have to go all the way back to the dam and take it, go all the way around the lake to get to where you need to go. But I'm hoping this is gonna work out for us and I believe so, I believe it will. No way. Nice, babe, look where it took us to. We're at Big Bear Boulevard now. All right, let's see here. There wouldn't be any cars coming that way. Here's another snow play area, you guys. So much fun here. I've done videos of sledding down this thing and um, doing the uh, roller coaster called the mine shaft. It's called the mine shaft, right, babe? Or gold mine or something. I think it's called the mine shaft. Yeah. It's a fairly new roller coaster. We've had it for a couple years now. Look, the temperatures are rising. It's 29 degrees. 
Wow, I'm so happy we made it because I was really worried that we weren't and I'm super thirsty. That would have not been good. After all this snow is done, I'm gonna tomorrow take my car to the hand car wash and just blow all this stuff off the car. And I know in our driveway it's gonna get filthy again, but it's okay. I'm so like so wanting to be perfect with my new car. All right, guys. So we've been through the village a couple times already on this ride. So we're just gonna go around the village so you guys can see the regular route that you guys take typically to get onto Big Bear Boulevard, which is left here. This guy's got chains and he's still spinning. What a pain in the butt, but I really, really hope that all of you bring your tire chains with you. Their At open signs are on, I see Bud Light signs. Oh yeah. Their lights are on. Fingers crossed, babe. But this said that it was already on last night. This part over by the village. Do you remember I was reading that to you at like five in the morning? Mm -hmm. That like, right after we did our live feed, you guys, it seemed like some of the lights on this side of town got turned back on, but of course not ours. There's the Falling Barnes open sign is on. Sweet. A big telltale will be if these uh, street lights the further we, the closer we get to Moonridge. If the Moonridge stoplight's on, we're good. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Well, I mean, that's like right at the corner of our house. So. It's, 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 <laughs> there's not necessarily a correlation with that. True. But because it was on earlier, mm -hmm. there was no light. Yeah, exactly. Babe, thank you for reminding me because I forgot about that. I am hoping though that it is. We've got this one on. The next one is not on at Knickerbocker. I don't see any lights to be honest after this one all the way up ahead. Me either. You don't see them either? My wife's got incredible eyesight. I don't. It's going bad. That's what you've been saying, huh? Oh, my poor baby with her perfect eyesight. I know. Her perfect everything. I just have a slight fuzz now. It's like very slight though. Of course they're gonna restore the village lights right away. Oh no. There's too many piles of snow. Oh thanks dude, that's super cool of you. Thank you. But we gotta stop anyway. All right. One cool thing about this car is it's got this yellow light when you have a car in your uh, blind spot. Look at that, just like all these new cars do. I've never had a car like that. And it's really, really, it's a, it's a phenomenal feature that I don't know why they've, they haven't had something like that for a long time on, on all vehicles. So we're just gonna hug both lanes. When there's snow completely covering this road, a lot of people only think that it is one lane each, each way, and so they'll, they'll, they'll drive in the middle, but I honestly suggest that that is the best way to do it, because if you do have to, if you start sliding, at least you'll have some room on either side of the road, instead of being on the far right and then just bam, smack dab right into a, a darn snow berm. Please keep your fingers crossed. Please keep your fingers crossed that we got some, uh, what should we call it? Some power. Temperature 30 degrees, y'all. <laughs> 9.17 a.m. Oh, big pothole. Still closed, McDonald's. Even though there's a bunch of people in the parking lot. It's probably a meetup spot or something, I don't know. Alpine's closed. Not a car in the parking lot, you see that? So sad. It really is. 
really is so sad. I'm hungry. I'm not going to be a bad influence on these guys. I'm not going to speed past these people. I'll slowly pass them. <laughs> Carl's open? Nope. Oh yeah, the lights are on. Oh yeah, the lights are on. Oh, look at, look at, look at Summit. Of, I see somebody coming out of Carl's Jr. too, so Carl's was open. Look at Summit, babe. The lights are on the street light. Oh, oh my God. It's so exciting. Let's not get too excited though, right? Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're hyping me up too, too early. And I'm going to shut it off for a, a quick second here. Hang on a second, maybe let's back on. So yeah, 7-Eleven's open. You can see there's the like lottery signs in the doors and the, the lights for the... Please but look, that. can you guys see on that right side of the top of the where the gas is? I'm going to zoom in. That whole part fell apart. It was on the ground yesterday. Huh, baby? Mm -hmm. Just flew right off the building. Right off the building. It was so windy, you guys. I know everybody was happy to, to be able to go home early. Working oh, yeah. These weather conditions, it's, it's exhausting. It really is. <clears throat> My wife, though, gets to be in beautiful houses and and just, it's... it's. Yeah, the hardest part is getting into the house. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's still really beautiful. The drive and everything. The hardest part is, like, like we said, parking being in the snow, like getting out of the car walking through it. <laughs> the street light's working. The Let's street see, light Walgreens. is working. Walgreens will be the, the ultimate. There's people at Walgreens. Sign. See? There's people at Walgreens. There, there's people at Moon Ridge Fuel. That means something because they can't run those fuel pumps, right? I don't think they can without power. So yeah, you are absolutely right, my darling. Please, Lord. We need this. <laughs> the liquor store's open. Oh my gosh, this could be a good sign. Anyway, guys, this is the Aftermath video. It's November 9th, 2022. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We love you guys so much. We have a great time with you guys, talking to you guys, responding to you guys. Thank you guys for everything. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do another video in a couple days to show you how much snow is left. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you later. Love y'all. Bye.